Hello, this is Joe Navis here with the video on how to build an electric fence using PVC tubing for the fence posts and the ground anchors. I decided to put up an electric fence on certain borders of my lawn in order to exclude hogs and armadillos and any other undesirables. Now there are plenty of electric fence chargers, electric wires. Uh, the wires, by the way, are called poly wire, which is a polyethylene rope with metal wire conductors roving throughout the, po the rope. And there are fence posts set up uh, that allow you to set up permanent or temporary animal fences, usually for cows, goats, domestic hogs, and so forth. However, none of them have a quick setup or a quick takedown, which I need because my lawn has to be mowed approximately twice a month. I devised a way to use PVC pipe for the fence posts and a single level fence meant to exclude undesirable animals. Here's a photo of the two PVC pieces. The shorter one, which is six inches, I'll call it the ground tube, is a one and a quarter inch diameter PVC pipe and goes into the ground, rising about an inch above the ground so one can still mow over it once the post is removed from inside it. It can remain there unobtrusive and permanent if desired. I put a cap on the bottom of it so that dirt would not rise up into the tube from the soil over time. Having a cap on the bottom also ensures the inserted fence post will go to the correct depth each time it's inserted into a ground tube. The longer tube you see here uh, is what I call the fence post. It's made of one inch PVC, one inch diameter. As it happens, the one inch diameter PVC fits perfectly into the one and a quarter inch PVC pipe. Here are the dimensions of the one inch fence post. Six inches will be into the ground tube and the eight inches will rise out of the ground tube. Now, you, of course, you can make these taller if you like, and you might even want to have a two-wire fence. To pound the ground tube into the ground, I had an old galvanized pipe union that fit perfectly into the top of the ground tube, and it allowed me to pound the ground tube in to the ground without damaging the top rim of the PVC pipe. I had to figure out a way to get the poly wire to be firmly anchored to the post and yet still be able to make quick tensioning adjustments or perhaps even a quick takedown. First of all, I tried <clears throat> using my favorite device, which is a tie wrap or a zip tie. I tried putting the tie wrap through the, through the wire hole in the post and around the poly wire. However, the tie wrap, once it was cinched, tended to break the metal wires in the poly wire. Can't have that. Also, should I ever need to tighten the poly wire, I'd have to cut off the tie wrap to do so. It's too much work, it doesn't work. So I figured out a way to, to uh, anchor the wires in the post without using a tie wrap. I cut off a piece of 3 8 inch wood dowel, about two and a half inches long, tapered it on the grinder. I took the fence posts and drilled wire holes 25 64 of an inch. That's one step above the 3 8 inch wood dowels. Therefore, the wood dowels would slightly fit into the hole. By tapering the dowel on the grinder or a belt sander, I was able to quickly secure the poly wire in the wire hole of the fence post. You gotta decide how high you wanna place the poly wire on the fence post. That depends on the size and the kind of critter you're wanting to repel. I drilled three wire holes one inch apart on the top of the fence post. So there could be a choice in heights of wire from the ground. You could drill even more holes. And with these multiple holes, you could even vary the height of the wire across your entire fence run in the event you're faced with an uphill or a downhill section of terrain. Now, the methods for stringing the wire into the fence post. The way I did it, initially, as you can see here on the bench, I inserted the poly wire through all the posts at one time while they're still on the bench. And then you gradually unroll the wire as you go from one post insertion to another. The tensioning with the wooden dowels would be created after all the fence posts have been inserted into the ground tubes. 
Here is where the poly wire of my fence is connected to the output or the hot wire of the fence charger. This is a piece of four inch PVC pipe which I've sunk and concreted into the ground at the corner of my yard. The insulated hot wire in the photo is coming from the fence charger which is in a dry box near my house for powering the charger. I have this set on a timer so it only comes on at night which is when the critters tend to show up. Here's the nice thing about this design. When you get ready to mow the yard, you just walk over and pull the post out of its base and pitch it over on the sidewalk. When you get ready to, when you're finished mowing the yard, you just stick it back in the hole and as you can see, the tension is maintained. Period, that's the nature of the poly wire rope. Finally, here's what I spent on this setup.